Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another add-on mod. Today we're going to be installing the Bentley Continental GT Convertible 2020 version. This is an add-on mod, so um, as I always say, um, when I first started looking at add-on mods, I was absolutely petrified of them. I thought it was the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But as you do it more and more, it becomes really, really simple. So if you follow this tutorial that I'm going to show you, it's, it is a very, very simple... Um, a very very simple way of uh, doing add-on mods um, i'm not going to do it too in depth um purely just because i want to try and keep the videos sort of under 10 minutes long and if i really do like do like a proper in-depth one i'll be rambling for about half an hour um i will be doing a more in-depth tutorial specifically just on how to install add-on mods so it's not like sort of just testing the vehicle and doing the add-on mod um but i'll show you guys as per um sort of how to do this uh, as sort of like a, a, a beginner's way of doing it um uh, the easiest way that i find right so what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and download this the download link will be down in the description below um go ahead and open it uh, you will need WinRAR, so if you haven't already got WinRAR, please go ahead and go to this website here. Uh, it's just download WinRAR. Um, it's literally WinRAR uh, slash download. Um, very, very simple to download. Uh, just download, install it. Don't pay for it. You don't need to pay for it. I know they try and make it out as if you do, but you don't. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open our Bentley up. Double click on it and you'll be greeted with this. Now, luckily, we've not got a load of gibberish files in here like we usually do. We've got one file and one readme. Don't need to really read the readme. Just follow the tour that I'm going to show you. So, really simple. Go to OpenIV. If you don't already have OpenIV, please make sure that you go ahead and download OpenIV. It's the first link um, when you type in OpenIV that isn't an ad. Please make sure to not download the ad version. Um, I mean, I I'm guessing that there's going to be an ad. I use ad block, so I don't see them. Um, but yeah, just make sure you scroll past the ads and then download the first one just to make sure that everything's hunky dory. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and make yourself a mods folder. If you don't know how to make a mods folder, please go ahead and watch on YouTube how to make yourself a mods folder. It's very simple. It just keeps everything nice and tidy and you won't fuck up your game um, by uh, trying to edit the actual files. You'll go ahead and go through the mods folder uh, to do any of your mods. So go open up your mods folder, go into X64. Don't go into X64. I do that every bloody time. Go into update, go into X64, then go into DLC packs. What you're going to want to do is go ahead back to your WinRAR file with your con with your Bentley Continental in it. Grab it, drag it, drop it, plop it. Done. Now it's in CGTS. As you can see, it's definitely in there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our mods folder. We're going to go back to X64. We're not going to go back to X64. We're going to go to update. We're going to go to update.rpf. We're going to go to common data. Go down to dlclist.xml. You're going to want to go ahead and click edit go down to the bottom of here copy and paste the last line of the dlc pack please make sure it says uh, the little crocodile item little crocodile dlc pack dash and then this copy you won't have any of these in yours just purely because uh, you won't have any of these custom mods installed um you'll probably have the last one will probably be mp heist 3 so grab that copy it paste it plop it down here and paste it in underneath uh that one and then change the name in here to CGTS. Very, very simple. CGTS, CGTS. Make sure that's all in there. Uh, make sure that you don't put the line in underneath here. Otherwise, you'll completely ruin the entire thing. Uh, make sure it's above paths. Um, and that's it done. Hit save. Go ahead and boot up your GTA. And I'll show you what to do when you're in GTA. Just a quick shout. You will need a mod menu to open up this uh, to, to spawn this vehicle in. I personally use, I think it's called Simple Trainer 5, I believe. Um, you'll see the one in game I use, just use the corresponding one um, on GTA5mods.com. Just type in Simple Trainer and then download that one. So we're going to load up GTA 5 and I'll show you what it looks like and how it performs. Let's do it. Right, so once you're on GTA, go ahead, head outside of Michael's house. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to teleport straight over to Liberty City because for some odd reason, whenever I'm in, in, in uh, Los Santos, it lags for me. When I'm in Liberty City, it doesn't. So, like, we're going to go squad shit and go straight over to straight over to uh, Liberty City. So, how is game? How is it, how is a, um, how is it running better 
quality and less laggy on a, on a map that isn't even meant to flipping be there. Um, right, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead into vehicle spawning, go to added vehicles menu, and then find your Bentley. Now, it's going to take me a minute or so to find it because of how many mods I have. Uh, Bugatti. It should be down here somewhere. CGTS, there it is. Boom, spawn it in. Ooh, that is nice. I don't know about the roof. How do you, how do you put the roof down again? You hold down. I don't remember how you close the roof. Open the roof, sorry. Oh, God. I can't remember. Right, anyway. Let's go ahead and take this over to our normal race track. Well, I say race track. It's my testing spot. Jesus, where? This performs interestingly, to say the least. It, the handling is... Wow. Whoa. Shit. Okay. The handling is, is, is something else, first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open all the doors, have a look what our interior is looking like. So, let's go ahead and do that first of all. Open more vehicle doors. There we go. Lovely. Let's have a look. Let's go into first person actually first and have a look what we're looking at. Can I? Oh, it's not going to let me go into first person. There we go. There we go. Ooh, nice. Does this actually work? Oh my god, this speedometer actually works. Wicked. Um, nice. I don't know if I'm sure about how kind of textury everything is. If that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but it's fine. Uh, how it's like to the eye. Like the roof is, for example, if you just see that the got pixels on it, it's a bit weird. But right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this vehicle first before we take it to our testing ground. Uh, upgrade max vehicle tune. What I'm gonna do first, well, I'm gonna put the tires back because I hate custom tires. And then we're gonna see. How, is that wheel wobbling? Okay, that's not brilliant. But I'm gonna roll with it. It's the only. I think this is the first version, so I'm not gonna bully it too much. Um, but it definitely needs some work. The, wi the wing mirrors see-through. Oh my god, the wing, <laughs> the wing mirrors are see-through. I think. Yeah, they are. The wing mirrors are actually see-through. What do you mean? <laughs> so yeah, this vehicle needs a lot of work. Let's just see how it performs first. Before we start bullying it too much. Um, I mean, I can't really bully anything because I don't even know how to put the flipping roof down. Um... Please ignore the lag as well. I don't actually know why. I'm getting 89 frames per second and for some reason it's lagging on video. Whoa, water. Oh, that, that, now that wasn't my fault. No one's bullying my driving for that. Okay, so also I've just noticed uh, something as well. When you turn the lights on, what you'll notice is the lights are actually coming through the back of the vehicle. Um, if you look, there's four lines of lights. So this has literally been shoved over the top of another vehicle. Uh, now, obviously, I get that's how texturing works, um, but this one's not been done very well, if I must say so myself. So, for performance-wise, I would recommend it, but texture-wise, no. And my driving skills, I also wouldn't suggest that either. My driving skills are flipping awful. Well, they're not, but when I'm trying to talk about the vehicle and drive at the same time, it uh, sometimes causes a bit of an issue which is like now but in terms of performance really impressed in terms of texturing not as impressed Ooh. but as i say performance wise water 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 let's not go into that yeah i'm pretty happy with how it performs um definitely need to work like that spinning wheel at the back you notice that it looks like the back of my bike tire um when my when, when, when i used to have a, a buckled wheel on my bike that guy trying to attack me do you want to go mate not trying to attack me, boy. Um, but in terms of when you crash the vehicle, I think it looks pretty... Yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to open... Let me just fix it. I'll open the doors again. And let's take a look at the engine and see what that's saying on the inside. Um, let's look at this. And when you get out of the vehicle, you say, What the hell? Inside of the... Yeah, this needs a lot of work, but... I'm impressed with the uh, with the bonnet. Now I've seen a couple of bonnets in the last in the previous videos I've been doing that are very unimpressed, impressive. Um, I don't really understand how they've managed to put the lights through the back. So that's peculiar to me. Um, but as I say, performance-wise, really really good. Ten out of ten. Just need some work on the texturing um, in terms of your. Let's not go through that. We break this car. 
Um, but we just got through it anyway. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with it. But at the same time, it definitely needs some work. Um, in terms of performance, I'm not sure what vehicle this is based off of. Because if you guys don't know anything about modding, most of the time, vehicles are based off performance of other vehicles in the game. I'm not sure what this one is based off of, but whichever one it is, it's compatible pretty well with uh, how the vehicle should perform. Might be a bit quick. And I guess, granted, I've upgraded it, but I think it may be a little bit quick in terms of what it should be. These are more for show rather than performance, but not, I'm not having a go at that. It's performing really, really well. As you can see, pretty fast, pretty nice, but again, needs work. All in all, pretty decent vehicle. As I say, again, needs work. What about the front of these lights? These lights work pretty well, so it's just the back ones that need a bit of a bit of work, and also the indicator lights on the left and right hand side of the um, of the uh, of the headlight uh, of the um, see through wing mirrors uh, also aren't working very well. But yeah, all in all, I'm guessing this is a first attempt. Pretty good work, pretty good work, um, but again, needs work. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and and like the video because that really helps out the channel uh, Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this vehicle again. I'm a fan of the Performance, but not as much the, uh, the actual texturing of the vehicle uh, But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video in a bit